<laughs> he had a several year old point snake. I knew this guy when he was smaller than a pencil. <laughs> anyway, right now he's a little mad at me. As a matter of fact, I've come to the conclusion that he just doesn't like me at all. Anyway, we get inside of here. We have a very beautiful scale pattern. We were brought in, was it two weeks ago? Yeah. Okay. Uh, two weeks ago for some possible twitching or some kind of an ataxia. Uh, turns out he actually feels everything. It's uh, all there. Whoa. Um, we've, uh, or the client. <laughs> as lovely and as paranoid as she can be, uh, thought we were actually seeing some kind of a uh, neurologic disease. Anyway, I've not seen any sign of it now. This is our second meeting as of that, that time. Uh, we did notice there was some upper respiratory tract disease going on and some stomatitis. And in the fecal, I actually counted 13 of this snake's teeth in a fecal sample, which in itself is an anomaly I cannot completely explain. Um, on today's visit, Mom has mentioned that she might be feeding some oversized rats or mice, mice specifically. And it turns out that uh, she showed me a video. The video of the mouse that I've seen is not too large, but it is possible that while eating one that may have been overly large, it could have broken a number of teeth, which I've actually found in the fecal. Uh, today's fecal is completely negative, no teeth, no problems. The uh, trachea from before actually looks perfectly normal, and uh, which means we're, the antibiotics are working. And what is weird is on the culture that we've taken the same time of the last visit, uh, the culture came back completely negative. Usually what that means is the, the, the culture itself either had grown some really strange, weird organism that could not have lived between here and the lab itself, or maybe there wasn't something there. I find it hard to believe because bacteria is everywhere. Uh, or, you know, it's, they were just mistreated it and it didn't make it to the, the you know to it or it could have been a fungal disease or you know there there's a you know at least 20 30 different variables as to why the culture was negative but the good news is it wasn't anything really really bad because right now we responded pretty well no sign of neurologic disease which is why i'm letting this uh this camera run for a little bit longer just in case there's some twitch that i might not notice i'm playing with your tail what are you doing where's the rest of you Hiding from you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so far so good. I want the mom to give me the mark for another week, and then uh, we'll see what happens after that. Okay. Hmm. Отрыгивают, но я никогда не видела, чтобы он что-то отрыгивал. Если вам что если вам что